order of operations with integers and exponents, we're asked to evaluate this expression. So first, let's recall order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, as we sometimes remember them, or PEMDAS. Parentheses are where we want to start. And we have two parentheses, and it just so happens that for both of those parentheses, we can simplify what is inside the parentheses. So first of all, the one on the left, just bringing down everything else except what's inside the parentheses, we can simplify what's inside, 6 divided by 3. Uh, 6 divided by 3 gives us just 2. And then for the one on the right, again, just bringing everything else down, negative 2 minus 2 leaves us at a negative 4. So we have done what is inside the parentheses, so we then have to move to our exponents. So we do have a couple of exponents. The first one here on the left, uh, notice that the negative out front doesn't have anything to do with what's actually being squared. So I'm just going to bring it down. And then 2, which is being squared, that would be well, 2 times 2, which is 4. So I will bring that down as a 4. So we've squared the 2. And then for the second one, since the negative 4 is in parentheses, that would actually be negative 4 times negative 4, which in this case, negative times a negative, that's a positive. 4 times 4 is 16. So we actually end up with a positive 16 that we're bringing down. And now there is no multiplication and division, so we can jump down to addition and subtraction because that's the last thing that we have left negative 4 plus 16 our rules for addition of integers say that when the signs are different we're supposed to subtract and keep the sign of the larger which is positive so our solution here is a positive 12